Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the Secret Manifestation Cards by Rhonda Byrne. And uh, does it say? Maybe she is both the artist and, yeah, it just says Rhonda Byrne. Um, and it's by Beyond Words. Now, I seen this deck for the very first time over on Robin's Reflections, um, her channel. As she was going through it, I was like, oh, gosh, I got to get this. Not only do I think it is absolutely gorgeous, but, I mean, look at those bags. But this was such an influential um, part of my spirituality and how it developed. And although I don't necessarily um, register with all aspects of um, the Law of Attraction, I do really register with, you know, taking control of your thoughts and where your focus is and all that and how that can manifest. Now, I have heard other people talk about how... Um, like law of attraction as of lately with like victim blaming and all that. I Although I do think that that can happen um, with people that use law of attraction. I think fundamentally they're not getting it right if they do. And the people th think that that's what law of attraction is. Really, I don't think that they truly understand the fundamentals of what the law of attraction is saying or what its purpose is. It's not meant to blame or shame. It is meant to empower. So to take what has happened to you, not that it's your fault that it's happening, but how can you change your mindset in order to see your way out of it sometimes? That doesn't mean it's going to change your life overnight, but it sure can help. Just like I don't think that it's all about mind either. But I think that the first part is changing our mind and then our actions will follow. So, but I do think that it starts in on what we prioritize as a focus. And so anyways, that's why I loved The Secret. This is the little pamphlet. Um, and there's not much about it. Uh, just simply because all of the information is right on the cards. So I want to show you, like, look at these bags. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I want it just for that. I mean, imagine that. <laughs> no, seriously, these are excellent. So let's just get on with it. What you resist persists. Yeah, if you're honestly always making a effort to resist something, it means you're still focusing on it. So that's why it happens. Yeah. Focus equals manifesting. Exactly. And if you do it with uh, emotions, powerful manifesting, right? Isn't that the whole focus of spell work? Money doesn't bring happiness, but happiness brings money. Right on. Love is the greatest power. I think so too. Don't try to control negative thoughts. Oops. Thoughts become things. Yep. Happiness attracts happiness. Right on. Who you really are. I am whole, I am perfect, I am strong, I am powerful, I am loving, I am harmonious, I am happy. Yup. Claim that. Activate that shit. Be grateful for your challenges. I also agree with this. If there's something to be learned from it to where you don't do it again. You know? If it changes your life in a positive manner because you learned a valuable lesson from it and you could maybe help possibly prevent somebody else, maybe even in your own family, like breaking um, family um, wounds and, and stuff like that. Positivity and kindness are all you need. Beautiful. Your natural state is joy. 
beautiful. Make it, make it till you, or what do they say? Fake it till you make it. But I think it's not, maybe it is for some. It's not difficult to like reprogram yourself, I think. Or maybe it is kind of difficult to reprogram yourself, depending on what you've been through. But see what you want as here now. Yeah, just like in spell work. You say it as if you already have it, right? Because then the emotion that comes with that helps manifest it. The world needs your happiness. Oh my goodness gracious, does it ever. Reclaim it to create it. Or proclaim it <laughs> to create it. Right on. Your heart is the seat of your power. For an amazing day, fill your morning with gratitude. Yes. Truly, we have so much to be grateful for. Even when we don't think we do, we do. Create your tomorrow today. Choose happiness now. Exactly, it's a choice. It is a choice. As you rise higher, you take the world with you. Feelings are powerful manifestors. Oh my goodness. Good or bad. Absolutely. Count your blessings. Your imagination creates. See, I think these are fundamental things that we need to remind ourselves often, myself included, all too often. Because there's always so much negativity coming in at you, especially if you are on social media sites, you know? Kindness changes everything. Prosperity is your birthright. Yes, it is. Gratitude is the great multiplier. Attitude of gratitude, baby. Yum. Yeah. It's riches. Gratitude is riches. Be grateful for all that you have. Obviously, these are really reiterating the same thing. But when you're shuffling it up and you put it in a deck and you pull it every day, you can see why we have to be reminded of these things quite often. Everything is on track, always. Yep, divine timing, right? Live your dream on the inside first. Exactly. Live in joy. Choose to find joy. I'm not that I don't that's not saying that everything in your life is always going to be joyous. It's about saying find the joys that you do have in your life and focus on those. Help others find joy. So joke and laugh and dance and have a good time and watch comedies, you know? Happiness attracts everything that you want. Gratitude is the fast track to manifestation. Hmm. Change your thoughts, change the future. Feel good now. Be aware of your power. I am aware. I think I turned that around. Am I aware? Hmm. Yeah. One way to become more aware is to stop and ask yourself, what am I thinking now? What am I feeling now? Or you can ask yourself, am I aware? The moment that you ask that you are aware because you have brought your mind back to the present moment. Exactly. Living in the now. Another influential thing was A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, which followed up, um, what is it, uh, being in the now or living in the now. Leave the past behind you. There is more than enough. Yep. Your job is you. Yep. You were born a creator. Yep. There is no lack or limitation. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Focus on the solution. Exactly. I'm not saying that we don't have problems and it's not instantly going to change it, but focus on what you need to do in order to get yourself out of it. Change the mind and change your life. I'm seeing definitely repeats here, but just focus on prosperity. 
These are all important things. If this is how you want to, you know, change, change your life. As I said, it's not a, it's not a, I've seen other people talk about lately the law of attraction and how they don't agree with it because it's, it's problematic because of what people are going through in their life and or it's victim blaming and stuff like that. And I can see that happening with certain people actually in the new age. Um, however, fundamentally, I don't think that's what the law of attraction or the secret is. It's about a movement of empowerment, taking what has happened to you and transmutating that into something that you can use as fuel in order to get what you want and have the right mindset in your life. It's not a solve all. I think the people that um, look at the law of attraction are only seeing like preliminary stuff and some of the things that happen in our lives I think it's bigger than just what's happening in this life I think that it has to do with past lives and things that we have planned for ourselves. I think it's a whole spiritual movement you know what I mean it's not as cut and dry as victim blaming I think there's more to it that you have to really look into I'm not saying that there's not people out there that don't do that though there is Money comes to me effortlessly and easily. The law of attraction is always listening. Kindness is a win-win. Focus is everything. This is very similar to the same as like Buddhist beliefs with um, where you put your focus, how you live your life, living like a, um, what is it, the eightfold life or whatever, you know, like live, uh, is it righteously? I don't, I don't know all of the actual terminology, but it's also like reincarnation. What we, you know, I believe that there's some of that, not necessarily exactly like that, but also like feng shui, like furniture placement, where you put things in order to maybe facilitate a better harmonious feeling of energy in you so that when you come home it instantly changes your energy you know kind of like that kind of stuff think more about what you want exactly i've said this before too i i think it was the law of attraction or um the secret that mentioned about mother Teresa. somebody had asked her whether or not she would go to a um, anti-war rally and she said no you'll find me at a pro-peace rally even though somebody would think they're the same thing they're not because one is focusing on not going to war and the other one is focusing on bringing peace so it's all in how you do it before you think another thought change your whole life with gratitude yes perfect health is yours well, appreciation strengthens relationships. Like I said, I don't believe in everything that's in it, but starts in the mind, starts in the perspective. And I do believe that, you know, people can heal them, themselves. So I do believe that it's, you know, the placebo effect. If you know that that works, then you know that people have the ability to heal themselves. And that's fundamentally what it's trying to say. Life should be effortless. All appreciation strengthens relationships. Have the best day ever. Everything is an inside job. Love it. You have the power to bring peace on earth. Have faith. Jump for joy. Your life is in your hands. Think before you act. Believe you have received. You are an eternal being. The earth turns on its orbit for you. You become what you think about. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shuffle these. Let me move this out a little bit.
Now I gotta shuffle it this way. I'm getting really good at shuffling <laughs> this way. And doing like the side shuffle, which I call like the waterfall. That shuffles really good that way. These are glossy, but honestly on these, I love the gloss on the back, especially when you look at that blingy words. I just love that aesthetic so much. Oh my goodness gracious, I love it so much. All right. Look at that, that's just the most beautiful thing ever. All right, so let's pick a few of these. See if we can get a message for the collective. Give me a message for the collective today. Right here. You have the power to bring peace on earth. The world will change and our planet will change as each human being changes inside. One human being inspires many others and the many others inspire thousands. The thousands inspire millions. The millions inspire billions and that is how we bring peace and harmony to planet earth. Exactly. It creates like a chain reaction. What else we got here? Come on, give me something else. Kindness changes everything. Want to see your life change for the better today? Then be the kindest you've ever been to every person that you encounter. Exactly. Just a smile sometimes. Just a smile. Just a, hey, you did a good job there. You know, or um, that looks really good on you. Or, um, you know, complimenting and speaking with kind language can really really change things for people. You don't know what people are going through. Live your dreams on the inside first. See it in your mind and feel it in your heart until it feels completely real to you, and then it will manifest in your life. Beautiful. All right, so that is the, the secret manifestation cards. I am really, really in love with this deck. And I can see this being a wonderful um, once a day pull. Maybe even something towards the end of the day when you're just like knocked down and drug out from the day before you go to bed, before you have any dreams and stuff like that. Maybe pull one of these cards to kind of maybe reflect on what happened in your day that day. Maybe put things into a different perspective or just try to change your frequency before you go to sleep. You know? So thank you for spending this time with me. And I am sending you love always.